Well, I've put this off, I've delayed, I've procrastinated, but today, finally, it's time for the Oberon. God, I hate brake fluid. Right, so we're going to need the spanners, we're going to need the uh, slave cylinder, we're going to need the fluid, which I've got somewhere, and sockets, and syringes, where are those? Some syringes, I'm going to try reverse bleeding it, see how it works. Right, so before we get started, I'm going to need lots of paper towel to collect the horrible brake fluid which strips paint off everything in my experience. There's the brake fluid, dot 5.1 I've got. There's the new uh, cylinder, brake cleaner, very, very important, get any spills off quickly, that'll get rid of it. The syringes and a uh, T-handle. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, well the first thing I've got to do is remove this uh, chain guard. Or the cover, sprocket cover. That one's a 10. That's a 10. Ah, bolt there, which went through the chain cover, and two here. So, might have a bit of a clearer view if I remove this, remove this heat guard so I can see a little bit better. I think I'm also going to loosen the pipe work from the clutch lever itself so that that's easy to undo later on. So I'll loosen that before I take that off, I think. At this point, I really ought to go and get my glasses. I didn't see that one. Yeah, that just makes it easier to get at that. A bleed nipple and the bolts. So there's the old slave cylinder. Okay, that would appear to be 11 mil. Now I'm just going to loosen that. Simply because it's easy to loosen it when it's fixed. And it will be later on. So, two 8 millimetres. One. Right hand one. It's a bit tight in there. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely engine oil. It's not so. Oh, there's the, uh... <laughs> look at that, it's only done 500 miles and it's gone already, so I'm glad I took that off, that's amazing, I thought it was just people being alarmist that these fail, but look, that's really bad, Whew. but I think I'll abandon that, I'm just going to get it on and then work out how to sort it out afterwards. I just have to clean up this. Uh... The faces of that first. Doesn't seem too bad. Whew, for a minute there I thought it wasn't going to fit. So yeah, it's gone on. I'm not going to tighten it up yet. Well, I'm going to get into position now and let's not forget the uh, paper gasket. Put that in temporarily.
The bottom bolt's not going to fasten because it's. Uh... Oh, that made me jump. There's my tubing, there's a nozzle. You can see my problem, it's November. I have to heat that up before I can get it to slide on. Okay, so I've settled for heat shrinking some plastic tubing over it just by heating it with hot water and then letting it cool down. And then I'll put the spanner. Okay. Completely drained from there. That's one thing you don't want is bubbles. Okay, well. It's no longer Friday the 13th, it's now Saturday and uh, for full uh, disclosure I had cross threaded the bleed nipple so I had to take it out, I've re-tapped it it appears to have gone in but I'm not happy with it so uh, I should be replacing this one at some point but this seems okay for now so let's see uh, the process and how it works. I have preformed the uh, bleed tube ending so that it fits on. I'm now going to try and fit it and bleed it, reverse bleed it. So the idea of reverse bleeding is that the fluid goes in here, go, fills up the slave cylinder and then pushes all the way up through to the master cylinder. So you have to drain out of the master cylinder rather than traditional bleeding, which would come from the master cylinder. You actually go from the bleed nipple up the pipe and all the way out of the master cylinder. And that way, hopefully air being lighter should get pushed up. I've got this syringe which I bought as a proper um, bleed syringe which comes with these ends that fit into that. So it does start to peer through here look and starts to fill up that's reverse bleeding so it's almost the top so I'm now going to shut that nipple off tightened yeah I can actually feel the clutch feels okay already there's no air bubbles coming out but that feels a little bit lucky to have done it first time so I'm going to pump it a few times there's one tiny air bubble just came out Nothing very much. 